I know. Uh, I almost had a, like a dumb and I couldn't remember what the button was. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? Oh, we'll find out. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yep, long as I got that baby working for me, this old bot ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First, I'll let that King K idiot walk in on me when I was with that. Now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear them. Yep, just like I did to them others, like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice, that's Grubba, so he's behind all those missing fires. Better lock this room up tighter in a peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. <laughs> and I'll just go ahead and hide the paper relating to that in the desk drawer. Okay, so there we go. You know what, though? Since I'm thinking aloud here, good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rock Hawk lost to Gonzalez. This new champ might have to disappear pretty soon for my sake. Bippity boppity boo, bitch! I'm coming to get you! Oh. I think he's gone. Let's check out that desk drawer of his. Whoa, bingo. I bet that's a paper old grubba hid. Check it out, Gonzalez. Yo, a machine under the ring using a crystal star? These are the blueprints. I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think the crystal power powers it. If this paper's right, then the machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck. Oh, crap, do you think that with King K and Bandy Annie got all drained or something? Oh, hi. Great gallop and gulpets. How in tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me Sassafras. You're staring at my secret paper, too. Shut up! You make me sick! Why'd you drink King K and Brandy Andy, huh? Whoa, Nelly, this ain't good. What a fucking loser. After him, Gonzalez. I was like, hold up, hold up. There's gotta be something else in here. Just making sure he wasn't hiding in my room. I have no idea where this guy would be in all honesty. It won't let me go in the ring. ran by at about Mach 6. I think he went to the ring. <laughs> Mr. Grubba, yeah, I saw him heading toward the ring. He looked furious, too. <laughs> Mr. Grubba, yeah, actually, he headed through here a minute ago. He was wigging. <laughs> he was wigging! Apparently, you have to go through a certain door to go to the ring.
I gotta say, you all are a couple of slack-jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now that you know my big trigger, I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. Gonzalez up there, that's a crystal star, right? Hey, hey, yuck, 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 how you like my machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby slurp. You're darn tootin' and you know why? Because it keeps my bod forever young, son. You're such a scumbag. You're gonna pay for using a crystal star like that. Oh, just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
need to get that badge that she they can attack after I swap to them. I don't remember what it was called or where to get it though. Defense. That's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. Max HP is 60, attack is 4. Attack pattern is simple. First he increases the number of times he can attack, then he powers himself up with all sorts of wild power-upping moves. So it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he's powered himself up. The wildest thing about this muscle hood is that he was just regular old Grubba a moment ago. I guess the Crystal Stars really are powerful. Taking a dagger out in the audience there. Yeah, they had a rock. So he's like, fuck you! <laughs> Not too savvy, Gonzalez. You got showmanship, and that's gold in this biz. But this here battle just getting charted. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rump kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. I don't have a sheep. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna swap to her.
I missed. Fuck. Arg, I can't finish yet, Gonzalez. Ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in combat sports, son. And let me tell you something. Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. Thanks, shy guy. Appreciate you. Did it. First try, baby. Yarg. And we're very close to leveling up. It was a fight. No, how'd this happen? How could a perfect bob like mine lose to such a schlub? Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Er, did I kill him? Mr. Champion! Oh, hey, Sketchy Jolene. No, I mean Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubba. Why, Miss Jolene? Really have to apologize. I'm sorry, sorry that I had to get you involved, but you must understand I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He'd have done anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as a manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubba transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Ah, so our mysterious ex was... Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the one, only one who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Er, Prince Mush. He, he discovered the secret of my power-sucking machine. I had him er, disappear. Any which way you look at it, it, he ain't around these parts no more. No! I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. The poor dear really seemed aloof, but in fact she just loved her brother, so... Mario, darling, look there, the crystal star. It's mush. Whoa, is this- am I back in the glitz pit? Mush! 
Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I, I was, I was just... There, there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over, finally. Mercy me, so that's what the Crystal Star is ca capable of. Now, Mario, the Crystal Star is yours. If he's got some serious karate skills, that's how he's a champ. Truly? You don't mind if we take it? It's better that you have it so that nothing like this will ever happen again. Well, darling, you needn't hesitate. Take it. Oh, yeah. We got the crystal star. We now have four for star power, and we learned power lift. Blitzville's seamy underside was a dark, dangerous place seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? If a plumber can be a champ, then anyone could be. Fair. Um, I only found two shine sprite things here. Is there three? Yippee! Yippee! Beldum, tell me what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Yeah, well, yes, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that we ex knots must open the thousand year door first, do you not? We will rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your word, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. We he 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 he. Let's away, my lovelies, Marilyn, Vivian. Ugh. Dot dot dot. Mm, no doubt about it, I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. Maybe they don't care about it anymore? Oh my, that must be tech again. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Gro Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. All right, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to ask Grotus? I want you to ask... Why in the world would Tech want me to go ask about that? He sure is a weird computer. Oh, is this the elevator you wanted me to go in? Didn't it say one floor up? That was two, but whatever. Please wait just a moment. There's currently a soldier in the vicinity. Huh? Now, Princess Peach. After leaving the elevator, head to the right. It is the room nearby with the green lamp. change here quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Hmm. 
Oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Erg, oof, I don't know about this. It's awfully tight and it kind of smells a bit. Phew, who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. I'm so tiny. I bet I look perfect. There are no clothes in here. Hmm, must be somewhere else. Hey, slacker, what part of do not leave your post don't you understand, huh? Hmm, what? Come again? Oh, are you on your break? Well, fine. Carry on. Huh? Sniff, snort, sniff. Do you smell that, dude? What a weird smell. Sniff, snow. You smell nice. That is just wrong, dude. I'm sorry. What? What? What is it? If you have nothing to say, then don't speak to me. I'm busy. See, I've been even got a busy X not clipboard here, and it says do not disturb. Well, good for you. Excuse me, Sir Grotus. <laughs> yes, what is it? Speak. Er, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm? <laughs> Something is wrong with your voice, x not. Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach? I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why, why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impotent worm. Concentrate on getting the crystal stars. That is all I require of you. We Exxons need a legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world. Legendary treasure. What are you lathering about now? Hmm, something is odd about you. N no, nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, or whatever, p please excuse me. At least you did the X thing. Oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world, talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Off with this thing. Phew! Good old pink dress, my favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I better get back quickly. Heck, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world. How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, would the crystal stars help you conquer the world, and what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. <laughs> the message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. Good night, weirdo. 
feel like this is Karen, and we're Plankton. But, like, opposite. Maybe not opposite, I don't know. <clears throat> the, that thing's humongous. Everybody hide now! Save yourselves! Who would have thought that fool Mario would be in Glitzville of all places? Did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, no, nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those are some punies. One of them should know about the crystal star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and force them to tell us about the crystal star. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy is big and bad. He's large and in charge. them, aren't you? One of the evil doers. You want our crystal star. Ah, see? I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude! Ugly thing? How dare you, you wretched crone? I'm the great puny elder. Eat my heart. Don't startle me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. You're both too har old. Har. It's hag versus hag. Awesome. Uh, yes, Lord Bowser, you look as if you're just dying to say something. Uh, nope. Nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You. Elder Hag Thing, where's the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. <laughs> Hag Thing, honestly. In any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. Huh? What? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Mario. Said he was collecting the crystal stars to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, he was off to save that lucky lass. Mario, not Mario, and it's not Princess Pinch, it's Princess Peach. But your seniality is beside the point. The princess and the crystal stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses, does his greed never end? That jackal. Both Princess Peach and the crystal stars belong to me. To me! If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all, I swear it. So now you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Gonzalez, I want to tell you. Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, you rock back. Listen, G-Bunny, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I've ever met, and if you ever need it, I got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And it's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grub is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Um, is anybody able to look up if there was another sprite that we missed here? How marvelous. Now we have three of those crystal stars. I suggest we make haste for Rogueport, wouldn't you say? Because we only have two. Is there only two here, or is there a third one I'm missing? No doubt noticed. Why are you acting like you don't know me? Thank you. I have 869 coins. I just had 889 coins. I just spent 20. What the hell? That's crazy. Ice storm. And then I'm gonna buy 
earthquake. That's like an upgraded uh, ground pound. Apparently my mom didn't give Cookie back. She's sleeping over tonight. You find an answer, baby? Looks like there's only two here. We might be able to find one down in the um, underground area though, because we upgraded our hammer. The next cheap limp is bound to rogue port. All aboard! <coughs> All right, we don't need to watch this because there wasn't anything interesting that happened. We have to go underground anyways, so... Gonzalez, you got an email. Here's Mario. I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the x not they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're seeking the crystal stars and trying to claim a legendary treasure. I still don't know what that treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the crystal stars. I will gather what information I can. Princess Peach. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink. I 
just went down the wrong one. I went down the wrong pipe. Well, kind of. That's lame. I didn't want to be here. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, we got the yellow star. And next we gotta go to... I think there's... There's one down here that we can get to upgrade them. I fucked it up though. The woods. see frankly it's been recorded on our map that's where the fourth crystal star is but we'll need frankly to take a look at this i suppose we also should tell him what princess peach wrote in that email oh, yeah. fine make me go back up stairs it's fine it'll be easier for me to get to where i need to go what The group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? <laughs> Correct, dearie, and that, you see, is why they need that legendary treasure. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claims that the treasure was in actuality the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. Well, these fiends plan to use the power of the cataclysm to control the world. I can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now the things I have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town and the entire world could be destroyed. In that case, frankly, we must procure that next crystal star quickly. Hmm, according to the map, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself, only rumors. I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Aha. Uh -huh. There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Roseport. I do believe it's somewhere underground, the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me, okay? Below the western part of town. Very well then. Cheers, frankly. Come along now, Mario. We go at once. Okay, dokey then. Koopy Koo, I miss you. Dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely and I go into Koops' house. I smell that Koops smell. I guess it's your clone or whatever, but it makes me so sad. Lately, the place is starting to smell more like your dad, Koopley. He has his own smell and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. It's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's going to be my dad too someday, I'd better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed. But I'm sending this anyway. Hee hee hee. Love Koopy Koo. I'm so embarrassed, but I want to—I want you to know that uh, you're marrying me when you get home. RDM issue two, Rogueport today. Old Toad settles in. It's come to light that after settling into life at our inn, Toadsworth has often been spotted in the company of Zesty. The notoriously finicky Zesty surprised all when she was heard saying, "What's wrong with spending time with my little total toes?" The possibility such a comment opens has our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Shop report to go. Our focus of the attention this week, Pungent's a great tree shop. Pungent's easygoing management philosophy is money and customers are fickle, so easy come and easy go, you know. 
He fully understands why our shop isn't busier too. We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. Even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shot points. Cooking for rookies. Today's Emmy recipe, spicy soup. Steep a fire flour in hot water and presto, you're done. The perfect first meal for kids to cook. Editor's note, we've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to more hot, hot news in the issue three coming soon. What's up, Coops? After you found me, Coops, I found a nice hiding nook at a place called the Crystal Palace. It's so cold, my shell is frosty, but it's a great place for hiding. Obviously, I don't want anyone to find me, but the thing is, I do want people to see how good I am at hiding. You see the bind I'm in? Anyway, spread the word. Come find the wandering hide-and-seek Koopa. See you later or not. Hey, you know what? My daddy found a new job. He takes care of little oinks in Toad Town. He's all recharged now. I'm still not good at studying, but I'm trying so I can help my daddy. I don't know what I can do to help daddy yet, but I'm going to study lots until I figure something out, okay? Well, see ya. I'm G Jr. Hi, T. Okay, uh, let's get you out. Dun, 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 dun. Don't bite my butt. That is rude. Why can't I make this? This is some bullshit. I knew I could make it. No! Son of a bitch asshole! I blame you, mister. That's your fault. I didn't make you miss that jump. Get good. You did make me miss. You made me miss. It's your fault. Miss! Hell, hello. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm called Grifty, the traveling minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Overport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will require just a few points. Is there a tale you want to hear? Or the tales I can tell you now? Here's some DM. The he. No. Yeah, sure. Naturally. Welcome! Who would you like to upgrade? The only one I can! Rush! Will you pay me to upgrade a Rush? Duh! Shazibi, Shabubi, Boblawi! Get goody! Care to power up more? I don't. No, I can't. Alright, let's take a look at. Uh, Now do mini. Damn it! Damn it! Throw eggs at enemies to shrink them to tiny size. Okay. There was one thing I wanted to check. This house is uh not one we can get into. So I want to see if we can jump through that chimney, maybe.
Are we fully healed, by the way? No, we need to rest. There's some sort of badge we can buy somewhere that allows for us to... Allows for us to, um, oh, hard to heart. So, when you swap your partner out for a different partner, the badge allows you to still attack. how we're going to get up there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Alright. We don't really need to see that. Alright. So now we can go there. We need to do this. Ops more points three gold. Hell yeah. Oh, right, okay. I was like, oh, Luigi's got a new friend. We'll have to talk to him after. Actually, let's go talk to him now, because... Um, we're gonna start chapter four and then probably call it. 
Well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Plump Valley Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. Plump Valley Village. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on the strudel cotton, we made for Plump Valley Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hizza. He said the beast demanded he offer up his own daughter as a sacrifice to you. So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed up as brides, so I got all dotted all up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good, I fooled our foes and got in... his is lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. She found really chased, bro. I finally found his uh, and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I come to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up fangs, beard to attack, and at that moment, I definitely lunged left. Gave him all smashed into one another and vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where his body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it and pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sort of cute, but we <laughs> ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair. I think I... Oh, I kind of zoned out there. Um, so yeah, we set sail again after ditching town. Somehow we managed to get back here to Roadport, and here I am. Want to hear about something else? No. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a bob mom from Plump Valley Village. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down, but you would be too if you'd seen Luigi's big bridal stunt show. He's so clumsy in heels. It's like a wobbly force of nature, falling down everywhere, knocking things over, tumbling into people. Now I have an obligation to tag along and clear the area if Luigi so much as glances at a stiletto. Somebody has to be the herald of the coming wobble <laughs> wobble apocalypse. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Okay then. I don't think we're strong enough to get this one yet. That's what I thought. To Twilight Town. Okay, so we found it. star piece. Wow. To Twilight Town we go. Where are all the bots coming from? I don't know, man. The pipe rejected you? What gives you, lousy pipe? We've got to tell the professor about this.
if Super Mushroom turns into anything. So it's just a mushroom fry still. That sucks. So we lost some HP out of that one, but we gained some FP. That's fine. Um, said fire flower. Doodly doodla ba. Spicy soup. Four HP and four FP. That's pretty good. I get up there. I want to know. I already got two extra shine sprites, which is pretty cool. Yo, Prof. We found your pipe and that thing's all stopped up. We tried and tried, but we can't break through it. Got any drain cleaner? What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogue Four. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was Odd uh, Dang. What was it? Oh, uh, yes. The lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loitering around right here around in the town in the past. Look for Darkly. Okay, well. He's just over here, behind here, saying weird shit. Oh, wrong way. Oh, the wrong way. Wrong way. He's this way. Hi there, the name's Darkly. I'm from Twilight Town. Do you guys need something? Huh? You can't get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Well, shucks, it's usually no sweat. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. Mario, right? There, perfect. Mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Rush Baby. That's why his name is Rush. It just fits. Hey, watch where you're drawing, buddy. I don't know what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. It'd be funny if you could see our names written. down here I wonder I wonder if we can get through because he's super fast I wonder if that's the gig too long. He's fast, but not that fast. Okay. Wonder who we're getting on this I suck. Okay. 
Okay. I'm assuming there's a pipe back here to get to that. Uh, I don't think I need anything from them. Okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, no. Actually, let's wait two minutes. Is there anything over here at the shop that we need? No. Oh, there's a life shroom. We have one, though. It's nice that they're for sale now, though. I forgot. My stupid frickin' switch is not up to date. It's stuck in 2022 in like September or some shit and I don't know why. Chapter 4 for Pigs the Bell Tolls. Town. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away? Yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh gee whiz, I don't know, it's a scary table tale to hair, and scary to tell too. Oh no, the bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful, who could it be now? Oh, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen, what's going on in this weirdo town? Oh badness, now poor Gloomer got turned into a pig, not good. What? What the hell happened to this guy? Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town, so call me Dor. I'm Dower? I'm not sure. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa, cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word. Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the Creepy Steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the twilightlers living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I, too, become a curled, curly-tailed oinker? So worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. This keeps up well. The village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. Not gonna happen, Grants. We're gonna look for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Uh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. 
Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? Brrrr, unthinkable. My, my family and friends have all been turned into pigs. That's not a good thing. This is the village where we are all were born, after all. We can't just leave. Don't worry, Mario's got your back. Oink, oink. Ka, ka, ka. Okay. Okay. Can I talk to you? Cough, cough, cough. Okay. Alrighty then. You got it. Hello, you. Living in this dark place, it's so depressing, you know? I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. like an entrance or exit. Will it feel weird to turn into a pig, do big spiel stuff? I'm not looking forward to this. Cough, cough, cough. Got a lot to say there, huh? Um, it's gotta be... wonder if they have... An item. Oh, star piece. Can I fit that? Oh my god, get me out of the way of this thing. Fresh your body and soul at our lovely Twilight Inn. Our rate is 10 coins! You're lucky I don't have a problem with money. There's a peach! I want it. 1 HP and 2 FP. What can we get rid of? Uh, Dizzy Dial. I'm sure we can bake with that. 